Let's take a look at some of the magic of Photoshop. One of my favorite features that was added a few versions ago, Content Aware Fill. For this image, I need a shot of just the wall for a cover that I'm doing. And although it's a great shot of the girl, I need to take her out and have solid wall. And that would take a lot of time to clone manually. There is a clone stamp tool where I could spend 20 minutes or so carefully removing her. No longer do you have to do the heavy lifting. We're going to choose Select Load Selection. I've saved a selection of the girl that we want to remove. So when you select Select Load Selection from the Department of Redundancy Department, the channel is called Girl, and you just need to click OK. And we get the selection or marching ants around the object we'd like to remove. So I'm going to choose Edit, Fill. And in the Fill dialog, I'll leave it on Content Aware. I'll simply click OK. And Photoshop calculated what we need to insert to remove the girl. If I choose Select, Deselect, it would be very difficult for a novice to know that there was ever someone there. Now, a trained user like myself can see a little color shift or highlights that have changed. But you can keep doing the Content Aware Fill. I could select this portion with my Lasso tool just by clicking and dragging and finishing in a circular motion, and then choose Edit Fill again, leave it on Content Aware, and click OK. It's a random algorithm that will do different things every time you fill. So if I don't like that fill, I can try it once more. And see how it regenerates every time? This is starting to get a bit uneven, but I was pretty happy with the first one. So I'll choose Edit Step Backward, which is a way to multiple undo. And I'm going to leave it here. A more real world shot that I might use this on is this beach baby. Now we've got happy pudgy baby in the front, and I want to imagine that there was no one else there on the beach that day. It's just her getting to enjoy Carmel by the sea by herself. So with the lasso tool, I'll select this couple having a little beach picnic. I'll choose Edit, Fill, and click OK. And they're magically gone, lined up perfectly. This gentleman on a stroll, edit, fill, click OK, gone. I'm very curious how it will do on this girl walking down the beach because we have beach line, sand, and the plants. Edit, fill, click OK. So it didn't do great, but I could undo that and try to be a bit more careful when I select her. You don't need to, in fact, make a perfect selection for this to work. You may need to make a tighter selection or looser selection because Photoshop is evaluating all the pixels around it and using the surrounding areas to do the fill. So edit fill one more time. Ah, so good. Now, in some cases, I might want to step backward and remove maybe this person before the next person. Depending on the surrounding pixels, you'll get different results. Wiped out. God, this is so easy. I can't tell you how many hours I spent painstakingly removing objects with the clone stamp tool. Much better. And I could bother to go and remove the other people. I see a little bit of beach that was left. So I'll make a lasso selection, edit fill, and you keep doing it. In fact, you don't even need to reselect the area. If you don't like what it did the first time, try a fill again. It's always re-evaluating when you do that. I will choose Select Deselect and go to my History panel. History shows all the things I've done since I opened the file. And if I click once on the top, here's my before. Click once on the last thing you did, the name of the thing you did which in this case is deselect, here's after. It is like a magic tourist remover
for all your travel or vacation shots, or that shot where you may have one object just taking away focus from the subject of the photo. And this is an excellent way to remove those things that are just distracting and call attention to the subject, which is the happy little baby in the front. I hope you've enjoyed our Removing Unwanted Objects with Content Aware Fill, which has been in Photoshop for a few versions, and I still live for to get the perfect photo out of something that I grabbed and have only the people in it that I want to see when I print this or post it to social media. Try Content Aware Fill with images of your own.